welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. My name is Madichi and I film about lifestyle. I do lifestyle vlogs, I do talks, and of course I talk about family here on my channel. If this is your first time, please don't forget to click the like button and of course leave a comment down below once you're done watching. And most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I mean, why would you be watching me and not being subscribed to my channel? Please kindly subscribe. Today, like the title of the video says, we're going to be shaking some tables and breaking some tables because I have two amazing guests on my channel today. If you're interested in this video and you want to know what we're going to be talking about, do stay tuned. But before then, I would advise you go watch my previous video, the video before the last. I'm going to link it somewhere here so you can relate. All right, let's jump right into the video. Like I said earlier, I have two amazing young men with me. Articulate, handsome, intelligent, smart, everything, everything. <laughs> everything about this video is different. As you can tell, I'm also people from a different background. So you should understand that this video is going to be dope. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Before we go on, I'll allow them to introduce themselves. So starting from my left. Okay, um, I'm John Gid, aka Kukudi Films, gentle, good looking guy, you know. John Gid Media. Okay, so what does John Gid do? Yeah, I'm a filmmaker. Yeah. And it's in media. Okay, thank you so much, John Gid, for being on my channel. You're it's a welcome. pleasure having you. Also, on my right, I have. Um, okay, so my name is Ada, and uh, some of you know me as Lucky, and I'm a very simple person, you know, very mm, down. To are earth. you sure? Mm. They are just being calm. I don't know this is you know they are true color. Forget all this. <laughs> anyway, guys, so today we are discussing something very important, like something that every woman wants to. Like there are times you just want to hold that man and ask, "What do you want from me?" Whether you're in a relationship, you're in a marriage. So please, we are asking you guys, what do you want from women? What are those things women do that find that you find attractive? Okay, so who wants to go first? I think Ada. Are you? Okay, Ada. <laughs> Wow. Jungi, you plan that to me. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, a lot of the points I'm going to be talking about will be mostly from personal experience. Okay. Um, the first point is that there's this thing you ladies do hmm? where you expect us to be mind readers. Hmm. You expect that if I raise my eyebrows and look at him, he's supposed to understand what I'm talking about. Or if we're having a certain type of um, discussion, is supposed to be able to tell uh, what I'm about to say next. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, we want you to be vocal, communicate, say something. If if you are feeling bad about something, say it. If you are feeling good about something, say it. Be vocal. I think it's really annoying. Okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask. Please, can you tell us your status? Are you single, married, dating? Hey, we. Ada. What? Which one? 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 Okay, um, I'm married. <laughs> okay, Jogging is married. Okay, and then what about you? I'm not married. Okay. Are you single or dating? Please, we don't want. I'm um, not single. I'm not married. Are you single or dating? I'm not married. Seventy years old man. Okay, I'm not married. Okay, I'm... Ada, are you dating? In a relationship. Okay, like with a when... woman. Okay, like when two people are together. Yes. What kind of woman did this? Are you in a relationship? Okay, that's what you meant. I said I didn't know. I'm dating. Okay, fine. Okay. Jungkook is married. Ada is dating. Okay, so the first point is communication. And it's quite interesting because this is also the point we had in the previous video. Guys don't communicate. Now I'm saying girls don't communicate as well. Anyways, so Jungkook. I don't know, Ada. Like I think this is the general stuff that happens between ladies. I, I, ladies expect us to be God to read their minds. Mm. Where. <clears throat> Then they just expect you to know everything. I think Chenima does it once in a while. Where Gideon, are you not supposed to know this? I'm like, how much if I know, I wouldn't do it. I think one of the, the challenge I have with ladies is um they don't say exactly what they want, they just want you to know it. And um, trust me, if I know what you want, I wouldn't lay back and tell you not to. I would do exactly what you want. So I feel um personally. Be expressive, tell me, John Gay, this is what I want. So, uh, let so it be sorry that. to continue, John Gay. Okay. When you say what I want, are you talking about emo emotional feelings or talking about things like a girl asking you, okay, I want this, I want this? 
Because when she starts now, you guys will see us as too needy. See, so communication should come from both sides. Um, okay. I, I should not be scared talking to you about anything. I don't know if you understand. So the same thing should happen to my girlfriend or my wife. She should not feel um, weird talking to me, asking me anything. I mean, regardless yeah. of whatever it is. Yes, yes. Jungit, what is that thing? I know you're already married, but for the benefit of, of course, just saying, right? What are those things that a woman does that you say, okay, this girl is attractive, I'm attracted to her, I'm attracted to her kind of person? What exactly? I like somebody that's very, very expressive. Mm -hmm. But you know, in marriage, um, one has to be either cold, and yeah, one has to be hot. So, so that complement each other. But, you know, sometimes, mm -hmm. We can have both of them together. So I think um I and my wife will complement each other. So that's what attracts. So what what, yeah. what attracts you, lady? I think that will bring me to my second point. Okay. Which is peace of mind. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Especially um when as a guy you 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 what's it called? Going to the regular nine to five. Okay. I'm not supposed to say this because men might just decide to kick me out of the men's conference. You know, <laughs> but there are there are men who who choose you know, not to go home immediately after work. They probably just want to go somewhere and then stay there till it's like very late. So they can get home just hour and then sleep immediately. Why? Because they just want to avoid some level of communication mm -hmm, with their wives. Mm -hmm. Not because they don't love her, but because 90, there's a 95% chance that when I get home, this woman is going to really, I don't know, drive me crazy or something with uh words or actions or something like there will always be something with this lady so you're basically saying you like your space you like exactly, someone that respects that was, your exactly. space exactly that was okay. where i i talked about individuality as okay. well you know let okay. you just be like that okay so that's one of the things that attracts you to you one of the things that attracts you okay so what else what else for me just to pick from what Ada talked about whether i have issue, issues with my wife or not i would like to go home because um, if she's not happy i'm not happy mm. so i really want us to talk about it so, but if I notice there's going to be um, issue that will escalate, I'll either tell her, you know what, let's keep it and see how to resolve it some other time. But I think personally for me, there's um, also always want to talk about it. But my that, this leads me to my second this thing is that when I want to talk about it and you are giving me attitude and you are not actually making it easy for me mm -hmm. for us to resolve it, I that... Mean sometimes gets me crazy and at that point it's mind-boggling trust me yeah as little as it is i could end i'm telling you i could end but that's where we're wired now you know as, you don't as, expect as that issue to start as, 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 so, so, so i just i just and then for me to bring down my ego mm. to talk about this then you should as well bring up down bring down your ego like, let's meet in and the let's, let's 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 talk see, about so, it so so what's it what's it before you wanted to talk about it you also wanted to talk about it you're also giving the same attitude i mean no, I think I should be humble enough to know my fault and see how we can just come to a point and let's resolve it. Okay, okay, so we've talked about things that attract you to women, right? So what are those things that you feel women do that they feel like they are impressing you guys boys like you know, you guys just move? Hmm. What, what are those things? I, I think for me, you should first of all know my love language. Um, oh, really? Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> You know, if you know my love language, it will be easier for you, you know, to impress me. Like, you can't impress me with gifts. Mm. Trust me. You can impress me with Are gifts. You no, no, that's, you that's, can't. No, that's because gifts. it's not your love language. Mm. It's yes, someone yes, else's yes. love mm. language. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't impress me. I but, you know, quality time. Okay. Um, when, when, you spend, when we spend that quality time, when you, that little touch, words like, I mean, guy, I know you're doing so much, but you can do better. Oh, like, okay. that, that drives me crazy. So, when you know my love language, and you just channel everything into that area. Trust me, you have me. Hmm. For me, yeah. Men are very simple creatures. And you're right. <laughs> if, no, no. <laughs> serious. So women are what complicated. <laughs> Trust me, you guys are really complicated. Okay, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's in two ways for me, yeah. It's either the guy likes you, or he doesn't like you. Okay. Yeah. Regardless of what you do. Regardless of what you do. Hmm. So, it could it could like it could not like you. And then you would do certain things that on a normal day would impress any guy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Trust me, he will not be impressed if he does not like you. Okay, okay. Do you understand? Okay. And then, but if he likes you, you will do certain things that on a normal day would make any guy go, you decrease. Okay. But he will still be like, oh my baby. He will still <laughs> like you. Do you get? Okay, can you 
can you share an experience? Mm. Let me personal experience. Let me just use this. Uh, no, let me not use this because I don't know if if you know the person might watch the video. Yeah, yeah, you're just you're so conscious of this person. <laughs> Show me your expression. Don't say things that you're dating. No, 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 no. When I say the person, not my, my not girlfriend. your girlfriend. Yeah. Okay, but the person you want to use an exam as an example, right? Yeah, like you know, okay, if I paint this scenario, she might know exactly. But okay. so there was this one time, I um I was in the house. Okay. With my roommate, so we decided to do a little um, something you know, mm -hmm. in the house. We had like grills, so we made we bought um, potato and yam, made fries, bought chicken, you know. So we just had like small thing, called a few friends over. I did not really like invite, invite, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. you know, but somehow word got out and he said, I'm coming. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> That kind of thing. And then you came, fine. You've eaten. Oh my god. Oh my god. But he said no. Was it because you were not attracted to her? Yes. Okay. So it was someone you were attracted to, you probably would have told the person to stay. Well, yes, that's what that's that's the point I'm trying to make now. Okay. It was somebody that, you liked. that I liked. Mm -hmm. You know, I was attracted to. In fact, nobody would tell me before I would invite the person, mm -hmm. like, hey, I want to have this thing. Come. Do you get? Okay. It? okay. So now you're here. And I'm even tell you, wouldn't you like to stay? And then you came, and then you wanted to stay over, and I wasn't really having it, but I could not say it like, don't stay, you know. Yeah, you're not feeling the baby like that. Exactly. So I had to, you know. So what if you had given her the impression that you were? Because most times you guys do a lot of talking, but at the end of the day, you are like, did I ask you out? No, I think I think the issue here is that a lot of ladies always like to ignore signs always like to ignore the fact that this guy has literally told me uh he hasn't really said it directly mm -hmm. but with his actions you can tell that he doesn't really fancy me you get sure. but i want to ignore it I, I, because because i'm a lady i have these i want to <laughs> press it on him like it doesn't work that way you know do you understand because that is what some of you ladies do mm -hmm. yeah you feel because you are uh, pretty, you have, you know, the jugglers and mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. like, no man can resist you. Yeah. Trust me, it is not always the case. True. You might be very pretty and a lot of guys might be all over you, but that particular guy that you want, if he has shown you time and time again that he's not really interested yeah. in you, by his actions, trust me, there's nothing you do, nothing you do, if you like, go to... Mount Kilimanjaro and get the ingredients from there to cook for him. Bruh, he will eat that food. Yeah. <laughs> he might not even eat the food, but some guys will just, you know, eat the food. Okay. And at the end of the day, bro, there's nothing for you. Hmm. So get. So that's the point I'm trying to make here. So okay. I think that Yeah, was... I get you. I get yeah. you. That's not the question. Okay, John Gid. I'm trying to check because now that I'm I'm married, so mm -hmm. I I I would have to accommodate everything my wife does. Oh. So it is, yeah. it, is, yeah. it is hard for me to okay. yeah, 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 to you know figure out that but personally don't eat into my space. Mm. Yeah. Why is that you guys say that it loves don't eat into your space? A lady's yeah. love language that is quality time. I mean she wants to she wants to spend time with you, she wants to be around you. Like you said, love me in my love language. So my love language is quality time, and you're telling me that you like your space. Yes, uh, you know that. That can only happen when you understand me, mm -hmm. and I understand you. Okay. And you That's know, where communication yeah, comes yeah, in. Yes, and you know this particular time is where this this guy needs this space. I should be able to give you that opportunity. Say, okay, you know what? For this reason, let me leave you. And once you are over this, we can always we can always move on, rather. So I think basically. I won't eat into your space when you don't want and I will also expect you not to eat into my space when I don't want so okay can you elaborate a bit when you say don't eat into, into my space don't call me more than once a day don't check on me more than twice a week don't what are you doing there are, there, 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 are, there are times I wouldn't want to see you not hmm. because of anything but just I just want to be alone or Probably there's something I'm working on. I just want to focus on it. So at that point, do you let her know? Because most times you guys just blank out and like. No, no. There are see for you to have peace in your relationship. There are things you say and there are things you don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand. So if you know that this lady is someone that she doesn't understand, you don't necessarily need to bring war into that relationship. If you have a way of avoiding her and she not knowing, just do that. How? And she eventually knows. Please, how does that happen? To her. 
For instance, I'm supposed to be back from work by 6 um, or 2 p.m. And one or two things um, lead to me coming back 6 a.m. in the morning. You see that time, I just want to have it to myself. So prior to that time, have you communicated that, okay, babe, I won't come home by this time? Because that's the thing we have issues with. A lot of times, you guys are not... If, if you guys don't communicate definitely definitely you must have communicated and okay. i'll be back by six okay. um six o'clock mm -hmm. or two so if i'm if i come back um by 6 a.m you see that time i just need to spend with myself i think mm -hmm. that I, I was trusted that relationship because how can you not come up by two and come back 6 a.m the next morning and the guy is not suspecting that okay are you sure you're work if you so that's where trust there yeah, has to be trust in that relationship don't you think so <laughs> I think that is that is less for her because for me once I trust no no once I trust you I don't care whatever you do so really? if, you don't, no, no, if you don't return the trust but you have to you build have the trust in a relationship you can't just assume there's trust see first personally eh if you tell me a eh, I will trust you for who you are hmm. I won't doubt you. But yes, you know one thing, afraid, yes. that is where it grew. So, so there are certain things you do that will eventually build that trust. Like I said earlier, I would have told you initially I'll be back by six. That six doesn't mean I'll be back, I will not come back by six. But one or two things could happen that will make me come back earlier. So that time I just need it to myself. Mm -hmm. But let me say something, sorry. Um, similar thing happened where I, I told this girl I'll be back by 6 p.m. and when you say back. this girl, your wife? <laughs> oh, no, not my wife. My, my, should I say ex, my ex or my paro? <laughs> my paro. <laughs> yeah, my paro. When I say paro, paro could be friends. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. So, for me, I was just happy that, ah, well, I'm coming back to rest and everything. Let me just make calls and I just came back and I saw this girl in the house. Yeah, yeah. You don't understand. What are you doing? Hmm? He said, I was just coming back from. I just decided to branch, branch where you literally. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> so, so, so that alone can put me off. Mm, can, really? can, Interesting. Can put okay. me off. So basically, that's. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. So, what's your opinion now? This is What's your opinion about having a bestie as the opposite sex? Whee! That was why I was asking you if you're scared. If you're gonna read what you saw. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. But that time, bestie. Yeah. Bestie. We ain't bestie nothing no more. <laughs> I told her this, oh, babe, babe. This is the kind of guy I am. Oh, I'm into ladies. I love girls, girls. <laughs> and then you now went ahead to say, wow, this baby's understand me. So. We're giving you something in return. So why should it be a problem? What are you? What are you? Doing? So I don't want to say, we know, we know what we're talking no, about. No, no, we no, know what no, I'm no, 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 no,